how to reduce your virus counts for mold, bacteria, fungus, any kind of thing that's bugging you, any kind of cold, flu, or viruses. There's quick, fast ways that you can turn around any kind of cold or virus that you have attacking you. The secret is, is reducing the bacteria count. Now, wearing a mask warms your mouth up. When your mouth is warm, the bacteria grows twice as fast. It's like making yogurt. When, you have, when you're trying to make yogurt, the, your yogurt is at 125 degrees. Your mouth is 98. When you're growing yogurt, if it's 100 degrees, the, bacteria, the yogurt won't grow. You need the bacteria in the yogurt to be about 125. When you put a face mask on, you are keeping your mouth t about 125 degrees. You're making it a lot warmer, and it's not getting oxygen. Oxygen kills bacteria. Oxygen kills bacteria. That's why hydrogen peroxide works. That's why oxygen in the air works. That's why hanging meat up, the oxygen kills bacteria and doesn't let it grow. So oxygen... Your mouth is getting less oxygen, your mouth is warm, it's moist, there's sugar and foods in your mouth, and the bacteria grows every 10 minutes. One tooth can have 4,000 bacteria on it, and with 4,000 bacteria, it doubles every day. 2,000, and it keeps doubling and doubling and doubling, which overpowers your immune system because you don't have enough immune to keep backing up all this bacteria. Think about it, the bacteria eats your friggin' teeth. It eats the teeth. How strong is that bacteria? You got to brush and floss and mouthwash three or four times a day. These people in China, they're not brushing their teeth. They're not, they don't have the hygiene. You got to brush and floss once every hour, every two hours until you get this virus under control. Uh, you got to floss, brush, and use mouthwash with alcohol in it. Like uh, yellow Listerine is my, one of my favorites I use most of the time. So this, the, the, the cleanliness of the mouth is one of the most important things. Low carbohydrate. You know, when you're eating too much carbohydrate, what are the Chinese people? The Chinese people are eating rice. Rice is pure carbohydrate. When you eat a cup of rice, here's a cup. That ain't very big. That's a cup. One cup of rice has 25 grams of sugar in it. 25 of these is in one cup of rice. And why the Italians, they got the coronavirus is doubling just like the Chinese. What are the what are the Italians eating? Pasta. Pasta is 25 grams of sugar per cup of pasta. Same thing. Pasta, pizza, bread. All these carbohydrates are sugar. Ain't no different than eating this as eating rice or eating potatoes. It's all carbohydrate. Every food has a number on the back tell you how much carbohydrate you're eating. So you got to cut the carbs. Increase your eggs. Egg whites, make a couple yolks, you know, make a couple uh, egg white yolks, three or four, uh, how about five eggs and two two yolks and the rest egg whites. Uh, uh, you can fry it, bake it, scramble it, egg drop soup with a little lentils and drop. Keep your carbs low, maybe 20, 25 carbs per every two hours. And you can eat a lot of uh, high protein. Chicken, fish, meat, and eggs has no carbs, so that doesn't feed bacteria. Think about it. When you got bad teeth and you eat a candy bar, guess what happens? The bacteria grows and the, and the fungus grows and your immune system gets so weak that your teeth start aching. Why do your teeth ache? Because the bacteria, fungus, mold, and viruses is, is attacking it. And your immune system is not strong enough to defend you. So, flossing, brushing three or four times a day. Low carbs. Uh, keeping the mask. If you got to wear the mask at a certain time because you're facing some people, that's a different situation. But you got to get it off and then you got to brush and floss. This lady in China, I seen her. She says, oh, I, I finally deleted the, the coronavirus. I got rid of it. She took the mask off and freaking teeth were all rotten. How does she, you know, it's amazing. It's not killing everybody. So you can, you're eating sugar and you're, eat, and you're not brushing your teeth and you're putting a warm mask on like feeding bacteria. grows. Everything grows twice as fast. You know, why isn't there bacteria in the desert? Because there's nothing, no moisture. Reduce bacteria count. You can spray your hair with alcohol. 90, 70% rubbing alcohol. It won't hurt your hair. And then rub a comb through it. Change your pillowcases. No tattoos. Tattoos. One tattoo is 50,000 injections of bacteria into your skin. Think about it. 50,000 injections. A large tattoo can be 200,000 injections. And that bacteria gets in your system... It grows every 10 minutes. Now, it may take a year before you get 100 million. It may take five years before you get 500 billion. But it takes, once you get a 10 hundred billion, now it's going to start taking you out because your body can't defend itself. You only have 120 million immune systems and you got 200 million bacteria attacking you. That's why old people get sick because they have a, a compromised immune system. There's nothing more powerful than your immune system. Nothing on this planet 
will ever be as powerful as your immune system. When people have diabetes in the hospital and they, they have gangrene in their feet, they can give antibiotics intravenously. It doesn't stop the bacteria until they get their blood sugar under control. When they get the blood sugar under control, then the antibiotics helps and, and reverse gangrene. So you got to you got to brush every hour, two hours, whatever, floss, keep your mouth spotless, blow your nose out, no piercings. Piercings is a pure number one. Get the earrings out of your ears. It's, it's number one injection of bacteria into your bloodstream. Piercing in the nose. This girl says she just got rid of her kind of virus. She's on TV thinking how, how Hollywood she is because she got rid of the kind of virus. Had a big, big freaking ring in her nose. She's had the virus for two weeks. Man, I'm talking about getting rid of your viruses and colds and your body and not feeling good in hours. If you ain't kicking this viruses and all your immune system is your problem, not feeling good within hours, you ain't doing it right. So you got to brush your teeth. You got to floss. You got to wash your face with warm water. Wash your hands. This hand cleaner has got gel in it, which holds moisture. You don't want moisture. You want to wash your hands. You got to keep your nails short as possible. In the hospitals, babies were dying because the nurses had long nails. And when they wiped themselves, the, nail, the bacteria and all the funk gets underneath the fingernails. And they can't wash it out because the water won't get under there. Under your nails is moisture and it's warm. And the bacteria grows. And so when they're picking up the babies, the babies were dying because they were all getting infected. And they couldn't figure out what was killing them. It was the, what was killing them was the long fingernails on the ladies. So cut your fingernails short. Wash your hands with warm water. Dry your hands. Moisture is the, the foundation for bacteria, mold, and fungus. Moisture. The other thing is accumulation of bacteria, wherever these viruses and things are in the air, they're everywhere. So if you got to keep the nails short, you got to brush, you got to floss, you got to mouthwash, Listerine, alcohol, spray your hair with a little bit of rubbing alcohol, rest every 15 minutes, get up out of bed and brush your teeth, eat a little chicken, fish, meat, and eggs, has no carbohydrate. Remember when you eat pasta, you're eating 25 of these. When you drink a regular Coke, you're eating 25 of these. When you're eating French fries, you're eating... You know, if you eat a potato, one potato is going to have 40 carbohydrate, which would be 20 of these. Now, if you want to eat low carb, you the, the foods that you want to eat are for low carb are romaine lettuce. All you want. You can eat these foods all you want. They're all high fiber, low, low, low carbohydrate. So these are all you want to eat foods. Romaine lettuce, escrow lettuce. This is from my new book, Never Hungry, Never Exercise Weight Loss. I just got the copyright on it anyway. So if, if you eat these foods, you can eat all you want. Lettuce, cucumbers, zucchini, collard greens, Swiss chard, mustard greens, onions, garlic, leeks, beet leaf only, not the beets. Beets are high in sugar. Fennel bulbs, fennel leaf, bok choy, arugula, lemon. You can eat lemon, the skin and all. The more lemon you eat, lemon kills bacteria like fast. Why don't vultures get, why don't vultures die when they eat that dead meat all full of bacteria and virus and every kind of funk in it. Why don't they die? Because their stomach has acids in it. These acids kill bacteria. When they eat that dead meat, the acids in their body, in their digestive system kills the bacteria. What acids can we eat? Vinegar, which is acidic acid, lemon, or ascorbic acid, or citric acid, uh, lemon, lime, uh, 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 acidic acid from any kind of vinegar, any kind of those vinegars that you want. Those are all things that kill bacteria. Vitamin C, ascorbic acid. You know, take a gram of vitamin C. Linus Pauling told us about this in the 1950s. Take a gram of C every hour and you see immune system kick way up. Vitamin C is non-toxic, water soluble. He was telling us this in the 50s, but no one wanted to pay attention to him. He, Linus Pauling lived to be 97, taught at UCLA until he was 97 years old. Vitamin C, that's another form of acid. Uh, lime, vinegar, spices, uh, any kind of spices make things taste good. Yeah, they're, they're good for you. And they're high in micronutrients. Tomatoes, but the Roman tomatoes, not a regular beefsteak tomato because they have too many carbs. Asparagus, bell peppers, cauliflower, dandelions, dandelion leaf, string beans, cow, parsley, mushrooms, celery, radishes, and Jerusalem artichokes. These are all low carbohydrate, high fiber. You can eat all you want. Now, when you eat potatoes, you eat the quarter inch of the white of the potato and the skin. You can eat all you want, but you can't eat the whole big inside of the potato because that's all carbohydrate. One potato has probably about 40 carbohydrates, which is 20 sugar cubes. 20. There's 25 in here. So when you eat a potato that size, you're eating that much sugar. Pasta, you're eating that much sugar. You eat a slice of bread. A lot of those breads have 20 of these in one slice of bread. 
20, 20 grams of sugar, which will be 10 of these. So, and I also have a book on diabetes and hair growth. Look up uh, under my name, Diabetes and Hair Growth on YouTube. And I talk about carbohydrates. Look, I used to be almost totally bald. You can see I got a lot of my hair back. I'm still working on it because I want big hair. I'm a musician. I had no intentions of doing none of this, but I'm freaking dying. And I quit everything until I started getting my health back because, hey, you know, you ain't feeling good. You ain't going to be singing. You ain't going to be doing no dancing and joking. I mean, come on. <laughs> That's, you know, I'm a musician. I had no intentions of working on any of this stuff. Check me on YouTube. I got almost 500 videos on music videos, but, um, uh, you know, I've been studying this, these infections and diet and hair growth because I, I just want to feel good. And I'm freaking losing my teeth and all that. You got to keep the jaw clean, baby. The mouth got to be clean. The mouth has got to be clean. The fingernails have got to be short. These women with long fingernails, the average person touches their face 20 times an hour. You imagine these women, they're wiping themselves, got them long nails, and they're touching their face all day long. You know what? Guess what they're eating all day. Don't want to be doing that. Don't want to be doing that. Think about it. And these viruses, you take in viruses, and when you eliminate it in the bathroom, uh, you know, you're, you're the survival of the fittest and the ones that were the fittest are going out in the excrement. Now you're wiping yourself and you get them all on your fingernails. The survival of the fittest are still surviving and now they're in your fingernails and now you're touching your face. Guess what you're injecting into your body again? I mean, a lot of this is just common sense. Let's get to the chase. Let's get to the chase. What's fast? So you can lay down every 15 minutes, which rest is one of the key nutrients for your immune system. Lay down 15 minutes, get up, brush, Take vitamin C, eat a couple of poached eggs, you know, less yolk, cut the fiber, high fiber, low carbohydrate, low carbohydrate. Look up the numbers. You see my diabetes hair book on YouTube. Low carbohydrate, carbohydrate. When you eat a slice of bread, you're eating 10 of these. When you're eating potatoes, you're eating 20 of these. When you eat a cup of rice, you're eating 20 of these. When you're eating pasta, you're eating 25 of these. When you drink a regular Coke, you're drinking 25 sugar cubes. Think about it. And sugar, think about what it does. It eats your friggin' teeth. The bacteria eats your teeth. How strong is that? When there are 10 million of them, it ain't bad. But when you got 10 billion of them, then you got a problem. When you got 100 trillion of them, then you got a problem because your body has 100 trillion bacteria in it. When you're making yogurt, you got to have 125. That's why the mask is not good. You want to put the mask on only when you're trying to defend somebody or somebody's in your contact where you're infection. Otherwise, you got to get that mask off because it keeps the mouth warm and the bacteria doubles faster because the mouth is about 125 degrees and it's not getting oxygen. When you don't get oxygen, you don't kill bacteria. Vitamin C creates oxygen. It's an antioxidant. Cigarette smoking is oxidizer, creates less oxygen. So that's why it works. But why, so you want to, you want to try to strengthen your immune system, get your bacteria count. Um, that's so. why they get these surprise viruses coming on. Bacteria, viruses, and mold, they don't have, they don't know how many there are. Nobody knows how many there are. And when they get into people, they create all kinds of different side effects. So you want to get you, and the, only, the strongest thing in the world to kill bacteria and keep you strong is your own immune system. There's nothing in the world more powerful than your own immune system. And when you empower that by keeping your bacteria count down and keeping rest and low carbohydrate, number one food for bacteria is carbohydrate. And it's, carbohydrate is not an essential food. Carbohydrate is a non-essential food. Think about it. Eskimos never had no carbohydrates. They live in an ice cube and a shanty on the friggin' ice up there. They wanted no fruit, no vegetables, no grains. All they had was fish and caribou. And they, they, and they survived the toughest environment. No carbohydrate. Carbohydrate is non-essential. Protein is the only thing. Protein means pro-life. That is the thing that makes your body grow. Protein and fat. Fat, it helps you assimilate minerals and, and vitamins. So... Get and rest, uh, rinse your face, wash your hands often, fingernails cord, no piercings, and keep your mouth spotless. And, and you'll see with you, if you ain't turning it, your symptoms around in three or four hours, you ain't doing it right. And you got to get back on track fast. The faster you do this, the quicker you do this, the more often you do this, the faster you'll get relief. Okay, bello. Ci parliamo. I had no intention of doing none of this. Now I'm not, uh, none of my interest, but I'm freaking dying. I couldn't figure out why I was sick. Check me on YouTube. I got about 500 videos almost on YouTube, and I like to play music. So, And I hope you're all feeling good out there because if you feel good, everything's good. Okay. Ci parliamo. Ciao. Ciao a tutti. Bello.